Hi, hey everybody. Whoops, I'm back. Um, I wasn't going to do a video today, but I, I'm just really frustrated about the technology issues that I've had. And so I'm trying something different. I brought my gear downstairs into the dining room. Um, my husband does not know I'm doing this, and he's at the shop right now. So when he comes in, I'll probably make a mad dash for the door to tell him not to come in like a wrecking ball. Um, with his honey, I'm home. <clears throat> Uh, so anyway, um, what I was going to do today is a uh, Friday favorite, and I was originally going to pick a tool or an item that is just my favorite must-have, but the more I tried to pick something, the more I thought, really, um, today, my favorite thing is that you can be so versatile with what we're, with what we're making. So the other day, let me set this aside, the other day, uh, my first video was with this card. This was using the Peaceful Poppies set, or suite. Um, so let me see if I can find that in here. And I really, I'm really loving it. I mean, I kind of, to start with, I, it was a tough sell to start with because it, there's so much red and I'm just not really that, I mean, I'm kind of into red, but I don't know. I was just not really in love with this. What I was in love with, really, to be honest, was this, which I'm gonna work with in just a minute, well, Birthday Bonanza, which I did not get to buy yet. The dyes are coming in. This Tropical Oasis. <clears throat> and I, honestly, I thought this was the first one that I was going to go to, the first kit or suite that I was going to go to, and I didn't. I picked up the poppies and just started playing with it and just can't seem to stop myself. But I made myself stop myself because, like I said, my favorite thing is the versatility of the products. So first I made this card. And then I started to decide, what do I want my next card? I didn't bring my little gift bag down that I made yesterday. But um, this morning I was trying to design the next card. And um, I decided to go with this one. There will be a video Sunday and um, a how-to video on how to do this. This is also with the Peaceful Poppies um, set. I don't remember this being in the set. I don't know if that came with... Um, oh. Now I can't, I can't remember if that's even in there. I think it was a different set. It might be. Hold on. Um, no, actually it is. It's with the, the sentiment comes from the Peaceful Moments bundle. So it is, um, I was looking for it to be separate. It doesn't really say, oh, here it is. Um, yes, Peaceful, oh, peace, Peaceful Moments. It's Peaceful Moments stamp set. And then this is actually a scrap, this part on the white circle here, that I was practicing thinking that I was going to use it for this card, and I didn't really like it as much. So I set it aside. I didn't like it with this card. I love it, but I didn't like it with this card. So I wanted to do this instead. So I held on to this, and then I decided, because I liked how much the black um, little frilly piece that I put on the gift bag worked out, I decided to cut this that I cut out of vellum the other day out of the black. And then when I laid this over top, I also colored it with Wink Estella, which is our little like glitter, it's like a little glitter ink pen, not really an ink pen, but it's like glitter paint kind of. It's hard to explain it. It's very, um, I, I don't even, I really don't know how to, you just have to buy one. You're just going to have to buy one. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see the sparkle. It just adds a really nice little element. Um, so anyway, this is also the Peaceful Poppies paper. And then this came also from the sentiment. So here's two cards right there, plus the gift bag from yesterday. Well, then I'm also designing for next week, and this is just going to be a sneak peek um, for 3D Thursday. Next Thursday is going to be a little set of note cards. And so this is what I started working on today. And I don't know if I'm really going to go with this or not. We'll just have to see. Oh, my computer is acting up. Let me... Hmm. I'm trying to keep an eye. I'm trying to do the thing where you have a second device so that you can see if your video is working. It looks like the lighting is better. There's lag, so I won't be able to really tell if it's working or not, but it looks better. So hopefully this will work out much better. Um, but this is vellum overlaid on the white that I stamped, and I really feel like I like the, I had to put the sequence on to cover up the ink that's holding the vellum in place, because you can see the ink through, or not ink, the glue. 
I'm not sure how I feel about this, but um, you might see a difference. There'll be a little box that goes with it and um, there'll be room for a little treat to go in it too. But here's just another example of the versatility. And then I thought, well, you know, just because you have to use peaceful poppies for these cards doesn't mean that's the only uh, paper set you can use since I really love that tropical oasis paper. Let's give that a try. So what I did is I took this card here as my um, inspiration and I cut um, this is a piece of pool party paper. It is coordinating paper with the tropical oasis uh, suite and um, you don't get it with the suite but um, it coordinates with the designer series paper. And so I cut it, it um, I just cut the paper in half sideways so you end up with five and a half by eight and a half and when you fold it over and use your bone folder to burnish it you have a nice little card so here we go same kind of idea and then I just went through the tropical oasis paper and I found one that I really just thought was this really popped with this um, pool party and I love it. So now pretty much we're kind of on track to have a similar card. I'm going to get some adhesive and put that down and hold it in place. So let me, I want this in the shot. So I think I can put it right there and it will stay. This is our snail. Normally I use the liquid glue. I don't know if I brought it down with me or not. My stairs, my upstairs, it's like a loft kind of deal. So it's loft stairs. They're not the easiest to get up and down with stuff. So this is going to be interesting. I really like filming down here better. It feels better. The sun is not killing me through my window. I love to look out the back, my back window while I'm crafting, but not this time of the day. Okay, so now I have the same kind of background. And then I decided instead of using this little loop-de-loo die from the peaceful poppy set I would use the pineapple the problem is is when you cut the pineapple <clears throat> now this part was fine because it doesn't cut the leaves completely out it just cuts them so you can kind of bend excuse me bend them out a little bit to make them look a little bit more 3d which is great I thought that's what it did with the pineapple but then when I pulled this out these little pieces started popping out and I realized you were going to be able to see everything through it and they didn't do a solid color behind it but there is a solution for that. What I did is I redid this before I took this out of the die, which I brought with me. Here it is. So here's our set of dies. Okay. This is called In the Tropics dies. Really great set. What I did is I left the paper in the die, did not pop it out. I very carefully just took it off of the big shot. And then I took my snail and I went crazy with it. I don't know where my snail is. I just lost my snail. I just had it. Oh, here it is. Because it's black and it's on my black stand. And I just went nuts with it. Just kind of rolled and just make sure all these pieces stay in place. And then what I did is I took my embossing buddy. And this is what we use when we're going to do um, like glitter or embossing powder. And you don't want the embossing powder to get everywhere. You just, it's like a powder inside here. So I just kind of plopped it down to unsticky the glue. Okay, so then I pull this out. It's not sticky at all. Pull this off and all these little pieces stay here. So I still have a pineapple and I don't have to see through the paper. And I can also now put dimensionals. Here's my stick, my liquid glue. I can also put dimensionals on it to pop it up a little bit. So instead of doing this little loop-de-loop thing with the flower, or this little, sorry about my arm, this little loop de loo thing with the flag, I'm doing a pineapple on this card. And I want to make sure that I have room for everything. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to turn this over and I'm just going to put some of these on here. I'm just going to, I think I want to use five. I'm going to use one on each corner and one in the middle. to make sure you're, I'm still in the shot because that was something that happened yesterday I noticed I was not in the shot because I had to have my phone turned weird okay and then I'm also going to put some on this um, finding the location would be the trickiest part so I know I can put a whole one here I should have brought down the mini ones we have mini sized um, dimensionals also I'll put one right here and then uh, what's okay about this though 
I think I brought my snips. Yes, I did. Is around the edges. See, we have skinnier, we have little skinnier pieces. Waste not, want not, right? So let's just snip off a couple of these guys. And we'll put one right over here. Y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do. I miss my students. I miss teaching. But I'm really loving all the time I've been spending crafting. Crafting? Crafting. <laughs> crafting, to be honest. Um, but you know what? I get to teach from home. So if I run out of things to do with my students and I'm kind of in a holding pow pow pattern until um, I get something later in the afternoon to work on, I guess I could work on the card. As long as I keep... I'll, as long as I keep track of all my hours and make sure that I do all of the work I'm supposed to do, I guess that's okay. All right, so <clears throat> we're just we're just all going to learn how to do this together. Okay, now the only thing, okay, I want to make sure I place this correctly. So I'm just going to turn this around here to make sure. I want a little bit of space at the bottom because I also cut this little word out, this little aloha. I wasn't going to, I was going to stamp, but then I saw that and I was like, oh yeah. But I didn't bring down my fine tip glue pen, so I'll have to just, I'll have to be very careful about dobbing some glue on there. Okay. And, oh, I should be a little bit more noisy. My poor cat. He's over here. He was upstairs. He loves to, he just loves to be everywhere I'm at. He wants to get on the table. He knows he's not supposed to, so he's sitting on the chair looking pitiful. The last few days that I've been crafting, I used to have a cat, little cat bed stuck to the window, but I took it down because it was in my way, and he wasn't using it much anymore more anyway, but now he's decided that he has to have it, and he's just not happy. He keeps jumping up on the table, getting into trouble. No, Pooty, no table. His name is Flounder. Flounder. No, 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 no. No. No table. No, sir. No. Go to the living room. Be a good kitty. He is really the sweetest cat. For the most part, he's very well behaved. He's not even trying to get up on the table now. I don't know how long that will last, but for the most part, if I tell him no, he doesn't do it. I am the mommy and I have spoken, and he's good with that. There's a little bit of white peeking through there. I'm not going to stress out about it. Okay, now for this one, this has, oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute. Okay, and I feel like, oh, I should have brought my Wink of Stella. Oh, I did bring my Wink of Stella. I wonder if I should color in. So this is the Wink of Stella that I was talking about. So it's this little brush. We'll just take a little sidebar here now. It's this little brush, paint, tip pen kind of thing that has glitter in it so what I did is I glittered this flower when it dries it's just all glittery and gorgeous and I did all around the edges of the this line I did not color the whole thing you could color the whole thing oh that little rascal got up on the other side of the table hey get off the table no get off the table get off the table and down he goes. I'm wondering if I should glam this up a little bit. You know what? Let's put the Aloha on first and think about it. We'll just think about it. This is on the fly, pretty much. I just came up with this a few minutes ago. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to, what I was reaching for when I found my Gisela was my take your pick tool. Um, so we could do favorite Fridays. This is one of my new favorite things. So this has a pointy tip. It also has a little mini spatula. It also has a little brush end that goes in here. So when you're trying to get these pieces out, when you really want them out, instead of having to poke each one, you just run the brush over it and it just, they pop out. It also has this little sticky end, which you've seen me use before to pick up sequins. So it picks up little small elements very easily and moves them around for you. Um, some, you know, tweezers are pretty good for that, but sometimes things pop out of the tweezers, like beads and sequins and things, buttons. So the only thing you have to do is you have to be careful not to, to turn it in because the more you crank it, the more the putty comes out the end. Okay. So I'm going to use the little pokey tool. This is not blocked out letters. So this, I've got to do this gently. See, got to poke out the pieces. Uh oh, I think I just lost a piece. I lost 
the part of the A? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm just kind of taking my time and relaxing today a little bit. I had a conference call with somebody at the district office earlier and the district's lawyer and our executive director, um, just making sure that teachers are being communicated with and um, there are considerations for contingencies such as teachers trying to teach while they have children at home trying to learn, um, internet issues, um, phone service issues, all of those things are being considered when making decisions and you know everything was fine we just had to make sure that um, we shared our concerns and it went very well it's a good conversation but it is a little it is a little kind of stressful thinking about all these things what's going on with our teachers and is everybody okay and um, you know being a teacher myself then too um, being concerned what's going to happen on Monday um, I'm asthmatic and you know I had the weird everybody was talking about the weird virus back in November I had the weird virus back in November so I had the exhaustion, the fatigue, the cough. I already have asthma. So now I'm just a little bit worried. I'm not worried about getting sick. I mean, I am kind of worried about getting sick because I also have a compromised immune system. Um, but I do pretty good because I'm a runner, um, mostly a walker actually nowadays. But that might be too much glue. I hope that's not too much glue. We'll see. Okay, so let's put that right there. I think I might have put too much glue, whoops. But it dries clear, so I'm not stressing about it. Um, so anyway, what I'm really mostly concerned about is if I start having any kind of asthma issues related to my allergies, which is normal this time of year and has been happening regularly throughout every day, that people are gonna be afraid to work with me. I'm kind of, you know what? I was that odd kid at school that nobody wanted to play with. Not trying to throw a pity party or anything, but I mean, that's just kind of the truth of it. And I don't want to be that kid again as a grown up where people are afraid of me because I have a little bit of a cough sometimes. So I'm just a little nervous about that, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, one thing I forgot to do. So we have this beautiful ribbon. Let me, let me open this up. That came, that comes with the suite. And I, I mean, I really love it. I think it's great. But for this card, I couldn't see using that giant pineapple and the busy paper and the um the cutout aloha and this big giant ribbon although i think that would have been fine just laid right there oh why didn't i do that you know i probably still could so what i did is we also have this ribbon in our regular catalog and this is called braided linen trim and i was actually going to tie this around and tie like a little bow but i don't know where i would have put the bow maybe around the pineapple could i still do that i wonder could I still do that? Oh, I could. Should I? Hey, Lisa Marie's on. Lisa Marie, should I tie a bow here? Would this look stupid? Be honest with me. Should I just like tie a bow and stick it on there? Maybe? I don't know. And I'm left-handed, so this is kind of strange. Hi, Lisa Marie. Can you hear me? There's Doug. Hey, Doug. Oh, Doug says, go, girl, go. Mm-hmm. And I should tie a bow. Okay, let's try the let's tie, let's try the bow. All right, here we go. Okay, should I do a bow or should I just like tie it in a knot? Let's try both. Let's try it this way. And try to be gentle so I don't tear anything. Uh oh. What do we think of this? Do we think bow? Oh, you know what? I kind of think yes, bow. What do y'all think? Okay, Doug says bow. Lisa Marie, do you say bow? You know what? Doug is very wise. So I'm going to go with it. Okay, so let's cut this off. I'm going to, you know what? I kind of want like a little long end sticking up there. I don't know if I'm... That's how I want to do it or not. And also, it seems to be kind of turning a little bit, so I feel like I want to take a glue dot. I'm going to take a glue dot and my take your pick tool, which I set way over there. I'm just going to take a glue dot with my little tweezers. And I'm going to 
I'm going to fudge this a little bit. I'm going to stick the glue dot right there and turn this bow the way I want it. There. <clears throat> All right, now I originally had planned on stamping. This is the stamp set that comes with the suite, and I really love it. It's so pretty. I was originally going to stamp this right here, down here where I put the Aloha, but I'm thinking that can be the inside of the card. So let me find my block. I brought down my D block because my C block was busy be doing something else. Some of my craft supplies are... Oh, you know what? I didn't even... I have not even opened this up yet. Here we go. Okay, and where is it? There it is. Okay, so these are our cling stamps. And so what our cling stamps are, they are rubber stamps, but they have a sticky back, kind of a sticky back. It's not really sticky, sticky, not like glue sticky. And um, you can put the, the stickers. I like to have the stickers. Some people don't. I think Lisa Marie doesn't. Lisa Marie, by the way, you can see her. She's on here. Hi, if you stay here, are you still here? I don't know if she's here anymore. She's my upline and one of my best friends in the world. I keep saying my upline like she's just some stranger that got me to work for her um, or to join her business. But no, she's one of my best friends. I've been stamping with her for, oh my gosh, 12 years, I think. Absolutely love her. She's fantastic. She's the reason why I'm doing this. I didn't really think that I could. I always admired her for doing it. But here I am. We'll see if anything comes of it. Hopefully. Okay. And so now, it's what you. It, this is what you're going to see when you stamp. So you can see exactly where to place. And where is my ink? I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink which needs to be refilled, so this may not come out very dark. I'll probably do a practice run on this paper. Um, I took my supplies to school. I'm the uh, sponsor for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and the kids made Christmas cards for the nursing home, and I brought a bunch of my supplies, and this was one of my supplies that I took, and I have not replenished since they used it. And I feel like I want to lay something down here. Well, let's just lay that down there. To make sure it doesn't get on my card. I mean, it dries really quick, so I don't know why I'm kind of freaking out about it. No, it shouldn't be. Okay, so now I can place this on my card, and hopefully it will be straight. If not, Lisa Marie calls it character. Yay, perfect. Okay. So now, Friday favorite is that you can take an idea. You can take an idea. And you can play with it and alter it slightly to create other projects that are similar but still have their own personality. And that is what I love about these products is you can basically, if you don't like the Peaceful Poppies paper so you don't like the things that I've been making, get the Tropical Oasis paper. Let me show you some other things that we have. So we have... This is the Peaceful Poppies, and this one is beautifully braided. Uh, I don't see paper that goes with that, I'm not sure. Um, this actually had paper that was in part of our celebration, but that's gone now. But you could still get the stamp set, and then we're working on getting the dies back. COVID-19 slowed everything down in shipping. Here are the birthday bonanza. This also, the paper is available. Here it is. It is a suite. I'm waiting to be able to order this suite. I waited too long, and we ran out of the, out of the dies, so I'm waiting for the dies to come back, but they're, they're making a comeback, and then I will be swooping that up. So you could do any of those cards with this set. Make birthday cards. You could, and here is, look at those. Aren't they so, they are so cute. Oh my gosh, so many people doing so many cute things with this. All right, we also have, let's say you don't want to do that. You want to, oh, here's the Tropical Oasis. So here's all the different papers. Here are some things that you can do with it. Okay, and here's the stamp set and the dies. We also have tulips. I don't know that the tulips had paper. The tulips just had a stamp set. There was another one in here that had, so here is one called Country Club. 
So if you want to make cards for, it's mostly geared towards men. It's like boy colors, I guess. If you say boy, I like blues. I like blues and greens, so I like all these colors. I'm not a golf person, but a lot of people love golf and have family members that are golfers. Um, it's mostly golf themed and uh, a lot of argyle, a lot of golf things on it, but look, there's a plaid. Um, the argyle paper doesn't necessarily have golf clubs. You could do other things with this too. You don't even have to um, get the stamp set and the dies if you don't want to. You could just work with the paper. And then there's an argyle embossing folder. Um, we have these little country club wooden elements that you can also put on your card. And then we also have this country club, the twine. I used white twine in my project yesterday. Um, you could use any of these colors for any projects. So it doesn't have to be um, the country club project. So oh, this is one of the other ones that I'm going to get pretty soon. Um, waiting for the... Well, I was waiting till for payday, and payday was today, so I will be ordering. So here's, oh, best dress. I know some people that will love this. So this is all, like, perfume bottles and purses and high heel shoes and lipsticks. There's a little card kit here. We have dyes. This die right here makes a purse. You could also, somebody figured out how to make a backpack out of it. Um, here are some projects. So there's the, it's actually, well, it is a backpack. I guess somebody figured out how to make a purse. There you go. Tote bag. So you have a tote bag. You can get buckles and or you make buckles actually so so many cute things so you can use if you don't like the paper that i used you can just pick any other types of paper out of our catalogs we have several we have this is just our mini catalog our june sorry january to june mini catalog we also have the full-sized regular catalog that has tons of papers and things to choose from okay all right so that's my favorite versatility make lots of different things with the same kind of concept. All right, thank you for watching. Get crafty.